No, throw that can at your ass. Boom. Boom. Shit. What's up everybody, this your boy Movie Man Greg coming at you guys with another reaction and today we're going to do Once Upon a Time in Mexico, uh, I'm sorry, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, dang I messed that up, but it's a Quentin Tarantino film, um, I'm excited about it, I love Quentin Tarantino films, so let's go ahead and get this started, um, also I like this view because it's like you guys are watching it with me, so come on, join me, join a brother and watch this movie i've never seen it before but i heard nothing but good things i heard actually some some a couple controversial things something to do with bruce lee i'm a huge bruce lee fan so i'll definitely be giving my opinion on that once i see whatever it is um but again if you want to actually become a member and see these reactions in full you know come check them out with me you can do so um you can become a member the link is uh, below in the description and then also if you want to uh, get a chance to win prizes. I give away Oculuses, Nintendo Switches, computers, a whole bunch of other stuff. I do that monthly. If you want a chance to win that, again, become a member. Um, you can go ahead. The rules is in the actual description below, so you can check out the rules, how everything works and everything. And um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this reaction started. I am excited. All right. <laughs> what are you looking at? Bounty killer. Looking at an ugly owl who to get his job busted. Oh, amateur trees, bounty law. Now, if you think you're seeing double, don't adjust your television sets because, well, in a way, you are. <laughs> My right is bounty law series lead. And now, can I fall off a horse? Yes, I can. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cliff here is meant to help carry the load. Is that uh, how you describe your job, Cliff? What, no. carrying his load? Carrying his load. That's about right. <laughs> that sounds so gross. <laughs> I wonder what the, uh, the the music production is like. Because, you know, Quentin Tarantino always have great music to carry along his film. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. A film by Quentin Tarantino, the one and only. Oh, Dakota Fanning is in here. Okay. I haven't seen Dakota Fanning in forever. Shit, she grown now, I would think. Al Pacino, I did not know Al Pacino was in this movie. I had no idea. Hold on one sec, let me. There we go. Get that red off my face. Gina, Gina, Gina. Al Pacino, the face one and only. Misty light. Hello, Mr. Schwartz. Oh, hello, Gina. <laughs> I finished watching a Rick Dalton fucking film festival. I think I know who you are. Put it there. <laughs> uh, it's my pleasure, Mr. Schwartz. And they call me Rick. <coughs> Rick? Yeah. Oh, is that your son? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a stunt double clip booth. Yeah. Good to meet you. We work together. Rick got his driver's license taken away for too many drunk driving tickets. Clip wow. drives him everywhere now. Wow. Wow. You're a good friend. <laughs> I try. Much fun. All the shooting. <laughs> It won't be a Quentin Tarantino ten film without no violence, right? Why does it got like a Metal Gear Solid vibe to it? <laughs> um, also remind me of what uh, is it? Uh, Inglorious Bastards? Was it Inglorious? But not Inglorious Bastards. Uh, Valkyrie. With Tom Cruise, he had a he had an eye patch too. <laughs> Anybody order fried sauerkraut? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Toasting. <laughs> oh man, that just that felt so appropriate. That's you operating the flamethrower, isn't it? Are you bet your sweet ass it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah bet your sweet ass. That, that, that's one shit fuck crazy. Kristen and Matt is there! Yeah, that's All right, that's too high. Anything we can do about that heat? Rick, it's a flamethrower. <laughs> Anything we can do about it. Can we turn it down just a little bit? Cool it down. Tuna, uh, pilot. 
for CBS right now. Yeah. It's, it's called it's called Lancer. He got a slight Way stammer and a small uh, stutter. Ron Ely Tarzan. Uh, they probably uh, never show it when he's acting. Green Hornet. I'm going to show career as a leading man. Or you got to pick you your go roles to better. Rome and stop. Who has been? What are you talking about? What did that guy tell you? He told me the goddamn truth is what he told me. Damn, he crying and shit. He crying? He gonna cry in the car. <laughs> Wants to help me get into Italian movies. Well, then what's the problem? I gotta do fucking Italian goddamn movies. That's a fucking problem. Nobody remembers the fuck I am anyway, huh? <laughs> That's the problem. I don't wanna do no Italian movies. That's a Cadillac right there. And a Mustang right in front of him. I'm not gonna see a station wagon. I don't like station wagons. If you guys see my previous reactions, y'all know how much I hate station wagons. I don't know why I have such a deep hatred for station wagons. Going to Rome to star in movies does not sound like the fate worse than death that you seem to think it is. Come on now. All right, like if I had that opportunity, I'd do it. Shit. Weapons. Oh shit. Peace. Director in town right now, probably the world. It's my next door fucking neighbor. You better go and get neighborly then. I mean, who Knock on that door. I can, I can be one pool go party on. away from starting a new Polanski movie. Right? Borrow some sugar. Give me my glasses back. Come get them, fucker. Sure, 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 sure. 15. Out the door. Out the door. In the car. All right, see you then. Oh, he's notorious for being late. I can tell how he says that. He's not gonna be ready till 9.30. <laughs> oh, damn. No wonder he like driving him around. Yeah, he had fun in that car. Look the shit out of it. Is he about to go home? Like, do we live in like in a hole in the wall or something? We live out of a motel or some shit. I'm just throwing guesses out there. Oh, he's going to the theater. Don't tell me he live at the theater. Ah, oh, shit. He live out of a trailer. Morning. Nope, nope, right, I wasn't whining. whining. You whine, you don't eat. I will throw this shit in the trash. I don't want to, but I will. Well, he got that dog trained. Damn. Big ass man. That boy is clean. Playboy Mansion. Are we, are we about to see Hugh Hefner in here? I should have up Steve McQueen. Okay. So, so this is supposed to be based off of true events, or is he like manipulating true events to create his own story? Like, what's supposed to be going on? You know, loosely based off a of true story. With him and married him. What the hell? Then they moved to Los Angeles, and the three of them have been inseparable. <laughs> what the hell? Really? Huh? Wow. One thing's for sure. Wow. Huh? What's that? Sharon absolutely has a type. Talented guys who look like twelve-year-old boys. <laughs> 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 like 12 year old boys. Go home, fix my antenna, do whatever. See it right. Oh, man. Hey. That sucks. He's out of a job. <laughs> when nothing Damn. You alright there, bro? 1869. Damn. Costing up a lung. When it comes to Dark Brown, he could hit the strip in it tonight. <coughs> That's no <my> girl. <laughs> now, Rick, about your hair. He ain't feeling this shit. What about my hair? I want to go with a different. 
hired you to be an actor, Rick. <laughs> Not a TV cowboy. You're better than that. Huh, okay. This can go either one, one or two ways. It can either help his career or it can hurt his career. It depends on how he brings out the character, I guess. Yeah, that girl like she's all of 14. Oh shit, y'all seen the flamethrower? I got a feeling like that's gonna be a part of the movie again at some point. <laughs> Damn! Oh yeah, he's a stuntman. <laughs> he got his own kind of charisma though. Like, I I'm shocked that they didn't want him to be a part of any kind of movie, you know? Oh shit, the director is gonna see him. But this is my guess. The neighbor director is going to see him. They're like, look who's this macho dude out here, no shirt on, fixing shit. This is just a guess. I, like, yeah, I don't know what this movie is about, but I'm just trying to predict some shit. Or Margo is going to see him. During this time, he's like the epitome of cool. Shades. Smoking, uh, I've been meaning to out there sweating with no shirt on, working hard, and we're in this case hardly working. Somebody's gonna see him. Kurt Russell, my man. That's my guy. I like Kurt Russell. So you still direct? Huh? I don't dig him. Oh damn. And I don't dig the vibe he brings on a set. Damn, he's saying you gotta get off the set. Oh, 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 oh shit. And I work with my wife, and she believes it. She doesn't want his creepy ass around. Damn, he killed his wife? Or rumored to have killed his wife? With the shittiest person. <laughs> Natalie, my sister, said he's a loser. He's a loser. They all said it. He's a fucking loser. That's Dharma Q from, uh,. The Hateful Eight. Well, is that I her? Like fucking fight. Yeah, that's her. I've been up here by myself for four hours on this fucking shithole of a boat. Yeah. Yeah, he killed her. He definitely killed her. As much shit she was talking, he killed her ass. Okay, you fucking horse's ass. Let's get you over to wardrobe. Yeah. Here, clear her. <laughs> now, I admire Cassius Clay, I do. All right, so Bruce what Lee. What I admire I were of sports, you know. That's two warriors engaged in combat. That's what I do. Dude, sound and look like him. In martial arts tournaments. But if you did, what do you think would happen? I'd make him a cripple. He laughed. Hey, you. But you're laughing at what I'm saying. But I'm not saying anything funny. So what do you think is so funny? Hmm. What I think is, Finley kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. It's called manslaughter. And I think all that lethal weapon horse shit is just an excuse so you dancers never have hmm. to get in a real fight. All right, so this is definitely supposed to be like true events. I guess this is Quentin Tarantino's interpretation of what happened. You know, Bruce, that guy's kind of famous. Definitely making Bruce look out like, like an asshole. I can say that for sure. Killed his wife. And <laughs> Not bad, Cato. <laughs> Damn. Damn. different yeah they oh the way how everything is portrayed did you do to definitely makes child? bruce look like did you do to her? almost like a pompous asshole not only that like he's not as skilled as the world portrays him to be 
Janet. What? So I can understand I the outrage Randy. of this. Handle it, Randy. Yeah, okay. I can definitely understand the outrage of that. It's like it's like saying <sighs> We all know how great LeBron. In fact, I'm going to even go deeper. We all know how great Jordan was, you know? It's like from someone else's interpretation, like the world knows how great Jordan is, but then you have somebody like Steve Kerr in a different story that Steve Kerr dunked on Jordan and embarrassed him and made Jordan not to be as great as he was, you know? So this is just their interpretation, but their interpretation is on the big screen. So I can understand the outrage of demeaning a legend, you know? I'm not saying Steve Kerr couldn't dunk on Jordan, which I really highly doubt in my personal opinion. But I think that's where the similarities of the tarnishing a legend, you know, of what everyone feels about it and treating it in a different way, you know. So he kind of made an ass out of Bruce Lee, like, hey, all that shit that you be doing, you know, you'll get your ass whooped in real life. So, yeah, so I get the uproar in it. But I'm going to continue watching this movie because it's it's very entertaining so far. So let's keep going. I don't know. Would you bother me? I'll try not to. <clears throat> Shit, you banging all that sound and stuff? Yeah, you're going to bother her. <clears throat> Clear your shit out. Yeah, he's smoking and drinking and shitting and farting. Everything that's in creating impediments for his acting. That that little girl is going mean? places. <laughs> Take a Yellowstone. Days in pain, then. Y'all watch Yellowstone with Kevin Costner? That she shit is amazing. Like novel. So check that out. Yeah, it's not bad. You sleep. Yep, yeah, that shit hitting him hard. It's like he's reading the story of his own life. He, about, he gonna cry in the car. Slightly more useless each day. Yeah, he hitting, that shit is hitting him real hard. It, it's okay, Caleb. Mm -hmm. I don't like names like pumpkin puss, but since you're upset, we'll talk about that some other time. This little girl is too grown for her age. Holy shit, she's eight. This is my show. Welcome aboard. Oh We're shit! Really glad to have a pro like you playing the heavy on the pilot. I can't and remember his you, name. I came damn close to being in the 14th. This hat just two. magically appeared on his head. No, no kidding. <laughs> Damn, look at them glasses. She can see everything. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'd probably be doing the same shit if I was in a movie. <laughs> this is my part. This is my part. I'm gonna sneak in the back. See how I'm well received. Damn. He didn't even have a chance. He shot his ass from the back. Yeah, must. I like how they shot it. Like they're not filming a movie. Like you don't see cameras. It's just a scene. You lose pain around here. Damn, you forget that they actors acting. <laughs> Feel like I'm watching Drango. You heard about me? I heard the line. Go. Go fetch her and tell her what? Go fetch her and tell her I'll give her a fat five dollar gold right, piece. Right, right. Go fetch her and tell her I'll give her a fat, fat five, fat five dollar gold piece. She oh, shit, he's fucking chili up. Chili pepper heart out, right? Right. Yeah. Now go fetch her and tell her I'll give her a fat five dollar gold piece. She play her little chili pepper heart out. Ooh, look how he got oh. back into character. <laughs> line, 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 line. Maybe he already. Damn. Got he fucking up. Maybe. Damn it, I fucked this whole thing. No, okay. Maybe he already has. Maybe. 
Maybe I don't like Lancer. Damn, that's all he needed to say? That's the line he fucked up was maybe. Yeah. All right. Make a promise to yourself you're gonna stop fucking drinking. He about to pour himself a drink. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh hell no. This this is a child, yo. Look at her. Want me to smoke your cock while driving? Oh, what? Is he gonna say no to that? How old are you? What? How old are you? Wow, man. 18. Feel better? You got some ID, you know. Yeah. Driver's license and stuff. This is very responsible. No, I'm not. Mm, he right. is the bad man. Oh, geez, just That's fine. his daughter. Ain't you sure? That thing is a hanging one. <laughs> so blowing the heads off little girls. Oh shit. <laughs> Got real serious they real can only fast. Hang me once. Dude. I'm this little picture down a well. You got that, Boston? Ha! Huh? Man, he be playing a bad guy. He ain't no cow with candy. But this is good. <laughs> good. I got pads on. And I always throw myself on the floor just for fun, even when I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> She's prepared. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> that just filled his cup. Yeah. Brought a tear as I look. He's swelling up. Look at him. He gonna cry in the car. <laughs> this movie's gonna bomb or something. What what what's about to happen? I'm like, I'm so antsy. What's about to happen? What's 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 the point of this movie? Get to it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's good. This Charlie's really gonna dig you. Hey, well, maybe next time. Yeah, you gotta come back. Was this is supposed to be like a cold or something? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Alrighty. What the hell is going on? What's about to happen? Man. Charlie's gonna dig you. This wine guy seems to be okay. Like, who the hell is just Charlie? Charlie's gonna dig you. The cult leader. I think I'll just go see for myself. You never know. You might have just woke up. <laughs> oh shit. Like, this is about to get real. What did he just stumble upon? wait that late so I make him take a nap around now so I don't get chipped out of my George TV time. Well, I'm gonna wake his well, ass up. Look, Red, I'm coming. George is blind, so you'll probably have to tell him who you are. Damn, what did they do to George? It would be crazy if he was really just sleep. Like everything she was saying was telling the truth. George? George. Oh, hi, George. Oh, oh shit. Can't see shit. Would you call that the matter? The man can't see shit. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Damn. <laughs> no Squeaky. Shit. Tell you, I was fucking blind. <laughs> How am I gonna know what the hell color the head of the girl is that's uh, with me all the time? Oh, fair enough, George. <laughs> George it was squeaky. She gets all pissed off if I fall asleep. <laughs> when she gets pissed off, George. How'd your little talk with George go? Are we kidnapping him? Not the word I'd use. Well, now that you've talked to him, do you believe everything's all right? Not exactly. 
I hope they didn't fuck with his car. Oh. Wow. Why would you do that? Now we can't leave. Oh. Fix it. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. about to beat the brakes off your happy ass. Damn. Ugh. You better fix that man's tire. You gonna hit him again? Yeah. Ladies. Ugh. Damn. Damn. Oh. That shit ain't funny no more, is it? You just got your ass beat in front of your whole family, including your girl. After that Musso and Frank's lunch meeting, Marvin did provide Rick job opportunities in the Italian film industry. Okay, so they got a narrator now. Marvin Schwarz here. It's cool how they shot it with the historical cameras. When you come to the end of the line with a buddy who is more than a brother and a little less than a wife, getting blind drunk together is really the only way to say farewell. <laughs> Get blind drunk. <clears throat> what is going to happen once they're blind drunk, though? That's the question. Okay, they just got Bruce Lee. Looking like an amateur, I guess. Rick and Cliff went to the Valley Mexican restaurant. Oh, that's Kurt Russell. Casa Vega on Ventura. Narrating. I'm like, man, that voice sounds familiar. <coughs> you gotta pay attention to these timestamps with Quentin Tarantino. He has a way of racking hey, shit up. Good to see you. How's the wife doing? She this action director, underrated guy. Somebody's about to die. It's about to Around be a murder. 10, Sharon and her friends left El Coyote or an accident. and arrived back at her. I feel like I gotta hold on to the seat of my pants. Piano for them. All right. They're at the crib. It's ten thirty. Smoked a joint and read a book. That was around eleven. All right. It's eleven o'clock. Smoking a joint. All right. Get out, Team Eagle. It's almost midnight, and they're Randy just about was to glad walk to see the them return. They're making a blender of frozen margaritas. All right. Midnight margaritas. Margaritas at midnight. At the same time, Hippie Girl, Fifty Cents. Tonight, tonight. Why not? Oh, he's about to kill everybody. He's about to kill everybody. I know I'm just jumping the gun. Something is crazy is about to happen off an of acid dip cigarette. When you got Kurt Russell narrating and then a lot of timestamps, something's bad is about to happen. Those three elements plus Quentin Tarantino directing, something's bad is about to happen. <laughs> ah, shit. Took his first puff. <laughs> Is, are those though at the what's the name? At the movie shack? Hey! Stop yelling! Hold your horses! We're leaving. Is that Tex? That must be Tex from the uh the other place. The hell are you looking at, you little? Chick? Yeah, that is Tex. Hey, come around here again! I'm gonna call the fucking cops. They coming to look for uh for Cliff. He was older. Yeah, I think so. But who's this Rick guy? Jesus Christ, Sadie, get it together. Rick you better know. JK it's Yellen fucking Coward Rick Dalton. He's called Bounty Law. Duh. Fuck you, Everybody Katie. know that. Sorry, I don't know the name of every fascist on TV in the 50s. But man, the people an entire Yo. generation grew up watching kill people live here. And they live in pig shit fucking luxury. I say fuck them. I say we cut their cocks up and make them eat it. Oh, shit. Great idea. She's crazy. 
Yo. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, right. Thank you. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, uh, it's about to go down. Oh, yeah, she getting the fuck out of town. She is not stupid. Calm down. Yo. This movie just took a turn. And this being Quentin Tarantino, I could just imagine it's about to get even crazier. I want to do he is he thinking he's seeing shit? You are real, right? I'm as real as a donut, motherfucker. <laughs> he tripping for real. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I'm here to do the devil's business. No, I was dumber than that. Something like that. <laughs> it was dumber. Cachoot on text! Text. Oh man. Oh wow. Damn. He gonna throw that can at your ass. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Damn. Damn. Like you punching my dog? Ooh, ooh. Oh, got him in the in the jewels. In the nuts. Oh Lord. Oh. Oh, his dog is taking everyone out. Oh, 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 okay. She, oh, he did. Oh. Lord Jesus, this is fire. Yo, ah, oh, he got stabbed in the head. <laughs> oh, he high as shit. Ooh, damn. Damn. Oh. 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 Oh, oh shit. Oh. She gone, bro. She gone, bro. Shoot his dog. No. Oh, uh, he didn't pass out. Oh man. Oh. Oh. It's a lot going on right now. <laughs> dog said, let me in. Let me in. Oh, I told you they was gonna come back with the flamethrower. Girl, you in water. You in water. <laughs> said, I'm here to do some uh, devil shit. That's not <laughs> Some devil shit. <laughs> English woman. English. Iron creature. Come visit me tomorrow. Bring bagels. Bring bagels. <laughs> you want to do something for me? Check on Brandy. She may be a little sh serious. Yeah, I'm fucking serious. Oh man. Uh, my buddy and his dog killed two of them, and then, uh, oh shit, I, I torched the last one. <laughs> 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 I 
with a fucking flamethrower. From the tool shed. Oh, from the 14th fist of McCluskey. Hell yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's the one. This is the house to drink and meet my other friends. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Is this a start of a beautiful friendship? Like, is this how they become friends over three killings? A face being bashed in? Another man's nuts getting chewed up? And then a third woman getting barbecued in the pool? Sounds like the start of a beautiful friendship to me. And then my man's Cliff, total badass. That movie was crazy. Is there anything else up there? Oh, actually. Tell him Jake sent you. Wow. And cut. All right, this cigarette tastes like fucking shit. And by the way, who chose this photo, all right? I have a double chin, all right? Nobody knows <laughs> that crap. <laughs> oh, that's it. And there we have it, people. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Man, this was great. It was a great story. Um, let's see. Yeah, everybody did their thing in this movie. I mean, I love Quentin Tarantino movies, but I think it will be more. I, I feel like I'm gonna research this. I'm gonna. I want to find out more to see what was true, what was not true. There was just certain events used just for storytelling. Oh, my bad. I'm all out the camera. I want to see with certain story, you know, what was real, what wasn't real, what was fiction, nonfiction, or whatnot. Um, no, nah, because this was a definitely a good story, especially if it was true or, again, influenced by true events. My man's pulled out a rocket launcher. I mean, not a rocket launcher, a uh, flamethrower and used it. Like, for real, for real. Like, that's crazy. So I'm, I'm going I'm to do a lot of research on this. But I'm going to check out some more Quentin Tarantino movies soon. Um, but if you enjoyed yourself, go ahead. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so as well. Share with all your friends. If you want to see this whole um, reaction unedited, you know, with all the sound and everything already in there, make sure you become a member. Um, or also become a member, you'll also go into monthly raffles for a chance to win Nintendo Switches, the Oculus, computers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, with that being said, I want to say thanks again. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. And I'll keep these reactions rolling. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, yeah, right quick. Uh, I just did a little bit of research and stuff like that. And I didn't even put two and two together. That that was supposed to be the Manson family. You know, when they were saying... Charles, Charles would like him. That's why I was like, it seemed very cultish. And I didn't even think about the one and only Charles Manson. So, yeah, um, it did say some of the characters um, and some of the events was fictional. Some of them was non-fictional. So, like I, like, I thought some of the stuff was made up or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, I, I just finally made that connection after the fact. Um, again, I didn't like what they did with Bruce Lee, but it is what it is. Um, I, I definitely understand why his daughter is pissed. Um, but yeah, you can't really be messing with legends like that. All right. I'm gone for real this time, y'all. Um, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll holler at y'all later. For real this time.